Hello, what we're going to talk about today is slipped or loose radiator brackets. Now if you look at this radiator here you can see by looking at the bottom of it that uh, the radiator has become loose and dropped down on one side and if you put the spirit level on you can see it's, it's, well, it's well out. Now there are two things to consider here. One is when you're fitting a radiator anyway it should very very slightly rise to the uh, the air vent side so the air will travel towards the air vent uh, bleed valve so you can bleed the air out if you do it the other way around and it's, it's rising up the other way you'll get an air pocket trapped in the other side because you can only bleed uh, motor radiators on one end now the other thing to consider is um, that sometimes when you fit a radiator and you sort of iron it up against skirting boards or window ledges if in the case it's fitted underneath a window the radiator can be level by the spirit level but look out when you compare it against the skirting board or the window ledge and this is special the case with the window ledge because it's more in your in your line of view so sometimes what you have to do is do what's uh, carry out what's called pleasing to the eye i.e. you have to line it up to some degree with the window ledge if it has to go underneath the window there's no way around it um, but bear in mind the thing I've just told you the situation I've told you about the um, where the bleed valve is so there's some points to consider now um, we're going to take this radiator off and have a look at that bracket and see what, what the problem is now we've used the rad clamps it's already disconnected as you can see here so we're going to take the radiator off with the water still inside and just stand it over there ready, ready for uh, putting back. So the next stage is to take the radiator off and have a look at that bracket over there and see what we can do with it. Right, we've taken the radiator off the wall now and we're looking at the bracket and we can see here that um, it's only fixed with two screws. Now I always recommend using three screws on any type of bracket I and mean, the screws are cheap so you might as well put them in. Um, now the screws have been put in on the adjusting slot this is the adjusting slot that you use to move the radiator valve up and down um, should you require now the problem with these is because the slot is so wide and the screw heads are quite thin they don't grip very well on the slot now most radiator brackets have one fixing hole which is that one at the top there which has got nothing in it and the, like I say the adjusting slot I always put two screws in the adjusting slot and one in the fixing hole. So all we need to do is to um, first of all remove one of the screws. And what we're going to use on the slot, what I always use is a nice big washer like that to spread, spread the fixing power of the screw head. So that is like I say that's loose. So to get the the radiator bracket, radiator bracket level, I'm going to put a straight edge, a long piece of wood like that across from one bracket to the other and place your spirit level on the top. Now bear in mind what I said to you before that it needs to rise very very slightly towards the air vent side which in this case is on the left hand side of the radiator. So what I do is I'll position that up, checking the bubble and that's now rising very very slightly, very very slightly the uh, air bleed end and just tighten up that screw there the existing screw I'll just hold it in place now back to the screw with the washer you see we're doing this one at a time and screw that in and that's now giving it a very nice very nice coverage and a nice grip on there I need to set this other screw now we'll just use for lining it up back out Put a washer on that one as well. That's really, really tight. The fixings are quite good. Now we don't need a washer on the hole because it's obviously a hole and not a slot, so it works. It was different. This will stabilise it and stop it dropping. So I'll put a screw in the top there.
Now, fortunately, this is um, this is a plasterboard wall, and I've, this has been fixed onto one of the um, one of the studs. So it's it's very much easier that's going into wood, which is always very nice to do. Um, sometimes, if you're on a brick wall and you can't get a fixing on these um, slots and holes that they give you, unfortunately, you have to drill fresh holes in the bracket and remark and and drill till you catch a nice solid brick. Well, make sure you get a good solid fixing because you don't want the radiator to uh, fall off the wall and then that's done now check the level yeah it's just slightly rising up to the left hand side so we're now ready to uh, rehang the radiator okay so we've refixed the uh, slipped bracket on that side now secured that up i've rehung the radiator next thing to do is check the level the spirit level and yes you can see it's just very very slightly rising to this end which is where the air vent uh, valve is uh, and if you actually look at it with the skirting board there the skirting board um, I've checked is level it looks nice and level with the skirting board so all that's left is to reconnect this end up to this valve here so I'll quickly do that just take off the rag clamp pull that out of the way slip the valve on Tighten that up. Get all your rad wrench, your rad spanner, and just tighten up the union. That's it. That's that reconnected. Remove your rad clamp. Take away the cloths the tools, all that's left to do is to undo the valves might be a tiny bit of air in the radiator now just open the air vent and get get rid of that put your system back on and as you can see it's uh, solidly fitted and all straightened up again thanks for watching